Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk to you guys about something that I've been putting off for quite some time now, and it's my thoughts on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, like the game as a whole, and also the YouTube side of things such as my channel and other Call of Duty content creators, and so starting off with Infinite Warfare, guys, to be honest, I really haven't been enjoying the game like I thought I would be uh, about a couple months ago before the game came out and the multiplayer reveal trailer. Uh, like I said, I haven't been enjoying my time on the game so far. I really don't know why. I think it might be because uh, school has been really kicking me in the ass right now I've having a lot of school work going on and a bunch of other personal stuff like basketball etc so I really haven't been ha having uh, that fun of a time on the game but uh, I'm only like actually level 40 I'm not that high of a level at all in the game uh, my KD is tremendously bad and uh, like I said I really haven't been having a fun time on the game and I believe it's because I really haven't had that time to uh, really go in depth with the game because I don't know just this year has been so hard with school and a bunch of other stuff but at the same point in time you know, I really didn't enjoy the beta at all for Infinite Warfare. I just, I don't know, there's something about this game that I just don't like. I just can't grasp it. Um, I don't know, maybe it's because we've had futuristic Call of Duties for the past, what, like six or seven years now? Uh, Call of Duty's basically repeating its cycle of repetitiveness, which is why they decided to switch to a futuristic Call of Duty in the first place. And I'm not sure if that's the same reason everyone else has that doesn't like the game or what, but I don't know, there's definitely a lot of flaws with Infinite Warfare, primarily being the game isn't complete. Like, there's a lot of stuff missing in the game such as combat record the emblem editor like all that kind of stuff hasn't been fully developed or something and it makes me wonder like what were they doing for the past like three years when the game was in development even with the games that were on the one year development cycle like there wasn't hardly anything that i can recall that was missing from the game but there's a lot of key features in iw that's missing that uh that really shouldn't be missing because you know the game was on a three-year development cycle and i don't know it just doesn't make sense to me and also the prestige icons as well like they don't even look that physically appealing to me and it's seems like everyone else in the community has the same census on that. Uh, I don't know, the design team kind of really let the ball down with the prestige icons for me personally. I don't know, that's my own personal opinion, but uh, I don't know. They were either like making up the icons at like the last second or something because they all look so similar and uh, I don't know, just in general, I'm not a huge fan of the icons. And it's also not just the laziness with the game and the incompleteness, but also like the map design too. I'm not a fan of any map in the game. Like, I don't know about you guys, but there isn't that one map in the game that I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe this got voted. I can't wait to play this map when the game starts. There isn't one map that I can think of in the game that I like at all. Um, I don't know, the sounds is also pretty bad too, I don't like the way the gun sounds, um, just in general, like, I'm not a huge fan of IW, people are gonna be mad at me for saying that, but this is the first Call of Duty game that I really haven't had motivation to play or even upload content on the game, and that really does concern me, it, it really does, because I, I'm actually a really big Call of Duty fan, like, Call of Duty is the only video game that I play, you can even ask all my friends, they always uh, make fun of me because I don't play any other game besides Call of Duty and NBA 2K, and I think mainly my lack of motivation to post content is because I really don't enjoy Infinite Warfare, or, or really Modern Warfare Remastered, to uh, to be quite honest with you guys, because I can't relate to that game, I never played, re or uh, I never played Call of Duty 4 when it came out, I started up in MW2, so I can't relate to that game as much as other people can that are posting content, it really doesn't have that uh, classic feel for me. It definitely is a classic Call of Duty, don't get me wrong, but I just can't relate to the game and post content on it because I never uh, experienced the game when it first came out, so I don't have all that much of knowledge about the game. And you guys are probably going to see a lot more gameplay commentaries on my channel instead of tips and tricks videos because uh, I don't know what it is, but man, just Infinite Warfare content is not doing well on YouTube, not just for my channel, but also for a bunch of other Call of Duty content creators out there. Uh, a lot of people have low view numbers. I don't know if it's a part of YouTube or a Call of Duty, but uh, it, to Call of Duty videos are just tanking right now in views and channels are doing really poor right now. So I don't know. Hopefully this does turn around. I, I really do hope and pray that it does turn around because, you know, a lot of people do make their living off of this. A lot of people do uh, support a family off of Call of Duty. And if the franchise is dying, then I don't know what other outlet there is. Everyone that is watching this video that are uh, YouTubers or Call of Duty YouTubers mainly, you guys should always have an escape plan in case Call of Duty does happen to take a turn for the worse, which at, at this pace right now does look like it's going to be happening very soon. I hope not. I hope I'm wrong, but 
man, just Infinite Warfare videos are not doing well for anyone on YouTube. So you guys should definitely have an escape plan if uh, shit hits the fan for the game. But I don't know, guys. Tell me your thoughts about this, guys, down in the comments. I'm definitely I'm going to be posting some more videos. I'm going to try to keep active with my schedule. I, I did create a new schedule for for uh, my class and YouTube so I can balance both of those. And uh, so I'm going to try that out and let you guys know how that works out. But again, guys, I really want Call of Duty to succeed. I really do. I want them to come out with a game that just blows everyone's mind away. I want everyone that is saying Call of Duty's dead, Call of Duty's boring, Call of Duty's stale. I want them to uh, basically eat their words and hopefully that does come soon. Maybe Sledgehammer is going to be uh, coming out with something that is going to blow our minds away. We're just going to have to wait and see. But I don't know, guys. Again, tell me your thoughts about this, guys, down in the comments. Also, drop a like if you guys did enjoy. And again, I do want to say thank you all so much for the support that is uh, that you guys have been giving me on my channel channel what uh, what there is left because uh, I don't know man you guys that are actively coming back to my channel and liking and commenting on my videos you guys truly do mean a lot to me and I can't thank you so much for that also drop a like if you guys did enjoy and I uh, thank you for watching I'm a vert have a great rest of the day till next time I'll catch you guys later